Hello, I'm Sir O, and this is Alex Sirens Presents. I'm a singer-songwriter, originally from Israel, currently based in London, and I'm going to play Someone You're Thinking Of for you. Only now I realize What you mean to me Only now I dig Who you really are It's only now I see That my eyes were closed It's only now I realize That I've gone too far Only now I feel you can really fall in love Only now I know that it's me hanging above Only now I know There's someone you're thinking of Someone you're thinking of Someone you're thinking of Someone you're thinking of Only now I realize How foolish I can be Only now I get it I haven't found the clues It's only now I see That my eyes were closed It's only now I realize I'm falling into the blues Only now I feel That you can really fall in love Only now I know That it's me hanging above Only now I know There's someone you think Someone you're thinking of Someone you're thinking of Just someone you're thinking of Now I feel that you can really fall in love Only now I know that it's me hanging above Only now I know there's someone you think you know It ain't me Someone you think you know Someone you think you know Someone you think you know Just someone you think you know Hello and welcome to Alex Science Presents, where this week in the studio, all the way from Israel, just for this, we have Sir O in the studio. How you doing, mate? Yeah, I'm not too bad. How are you? <laughs> I'm not too bad, thank you. <laughs> um, you've, uh, you're not really, like, just come over for this, I'd say. You've been here for about a year now? Yeah. So, um, as you said, I'm originally from Israel and I moved here um, last November. So, yeah, exactly a year. Officially. We should have, like, Officially a, year, a yeah. party to celebrate you coming over and embracing the the cold English weather. <laughs> I'm up um, for it. <laughs> <laughs> to the pub. Forget the interview. No, I'm only kidding. Um, but in terms of influences, who influences you personally and musically? Um, well, I like all sorts of music. Um, but I think that the main reason why I moved to London from Israel um, to England is that because um, I've always been influenced by British music especially from the 90s so um 90s Britpop yeah um Oasis Blur exactly Oasis Blur um The Verve Travis um and a bit further on like Keen a bit of Coldplay okay um and also obviously 70s 60s music um is is great and even you know today's indie music is is just great um so all sorts of music really we did have Travis play here not too long ago at the Roundhouse um, you said off air that he'd never been here before. That would have been a perfect uh, excuse to come down into the to our lovely venues. Like, yeah, well, Travis are playing. I I, um, I completely agree with you, Alex. <laughs> um, but to be honest, I was in Israel for like nine days. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I missed it. <laughs> uh, you're gutted, really. I'm sure. <laughs> but um, this year, um, what have you been up to this year? And do you have any gigs or tours happening throughout November and December? 
Yeah, so um, I think I've managed quite a lot since I moved <laughs> here. I, I hope so. Um, I'm not, um, I'm not satisfied with it because obviously, um, you know, I want to do more. Yeah, of course. Um, but I've um, I formed a backing band, so I'm playing um with a band usually sometimes on my own. Um, like I'm doing today. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, basically, uh, I've played many gigs in London venues. Um. And released an EP, someone you're thinking of. Um, okay. Yeah, and um, we've done that at the O2 Islington, which is a great venue. Um, supported um, the Subway's frontman Billy Lon at Brixton Jam, and many, many more gigs. And um, for the future, um, after I've just released a single, "Please Stop Talking," um, I'm looking to um, go on a UK tour, acoustic tour. So it's going to be really, really nice. Okay. And in terms of Please Stop Talking, you were talking about the song, and not about me in general, I hope. <laughs> um, but is there anywhere that you are, in terms of your tour, can you announce any dates or any venues just of yet, as of yet, or not not at the moment? Um, the, the, the listeners should take a close look at my Facebook page and, and my website, and it's going to be there very, very soon. Yeah. When when this show goes out, you probably arranged all of the dates, and we don't have anything going up, unfortunately. <laughs> but um, for next year, what do you have planned for 2014? So for 2014, um, I'm really hoping to get my um, debut album out, which okay. is uh, Forever Plus a Day. I haven't got the date or that yet, but it's going to be a great, great album. I I can I can assure you that. <laughs> <laughs> from the man from the words from the man himself <laughs> um but in terms of um do you have any gigs lined up for maybe early january um or are you kind of winding down after the tour in early 2014 um so the tour is um is supposed to continue in 2014 okay, early yeah. 2014 so it's going to be um wales um north england england and uh, might be even scotland and northern ireland who knows okay um, so that's going to be um, that's going to take most of my time in uh, late 2013 and early 2014. Cool. Not the not the Republic of Ireland. You're kind of leaving those guys aside for another <laughs> tour, I'm sure. Now that those guys are, are going to be part of the the Europe tour. <laughs> <laughs> They're not good enough for the UK tour. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. Um, but in terms of releases, we're talking about your EP, "Don't Stop Talking," and possibly your current album or your future album coming out next year um but have you released anything else in the past um so i've released uh, the ep someone you're thinking of and the single debut single please stop talking so those are both um debut eps and ep and singles so debut releases in the uk i did release um an ep in israel back in the days like probably five years ago okay um Which but that was that was in hebrew so that's not for your <laughs> show <laughs> it, we could do a, a a hebrew section christmas is coming up so hanukkah is not too far away i oh, know do a, a hanukkah version of the show that'd be quite <laughs> funny um but it's so it's kind of like you haven't released anything we well, have released stuff but only within the past year or so you've only really been getting your music out there apart from your israeli stuff which went out five years ago. Yeah. If you still have any versions of that, I'd love to play it on the show. That'd be <laughs> hilarious. It's kind of, and now, Hebrew music. And it's just kind of, and then nobody knows what's, what we're playing. What's like, going oh, on, yeah. Since when was this a cultured show? <laughs> but what would you say has been the craziest moment that you have experienced as a band singer-songwriter? Um, craziest moment? Oh, that's, that's difficult. <laughs> I mean, it's it's either that everything is everything's that that is going on is crazy or nothing is crazy. I suppose. <laughs> um, okay, like on stage, like what's the weirdest thing that's happened weirdest, during a gig? Weirdest thing that happened during a gig on stage. Um, I don't know if that's the weirdest thing, but it happened to me not long ago. Um, actually, last week I would play <laughs> the O2 Islington, um, and then I was supposed to play my. Um, single please stop talking this was the last song you know yeah. that's kind of like the hit and um i'm sure that everyone was kind of like waiting for it and then when i was about to play it a guy came by the stage like the the um the event um kind of like the promoter the promoter and uh, the event manager in a way and he said uh well that was your last one i mean you don't really have time for another <laughs> one i was i was really no. pissed you know um 
because you build a set list in a certain way to yeah. get the crowd going, and um, we didn't get to play the last one. So ah. that was that was it. wasn't crazy, but it was annoying. It was very <laughs> annoying. I can tell you that. So the one song that people were itching to hear, I'm sure they're itching to hear the rest of your songs as well. But the one song that you've plugged and plugged, and they're just like, don't have time. Yeah, exactly. And he and he was sort of like giving me the sign before I played. Um, the last one. Yeah. And I thought he meant like you've got another one. Oh, okay, yeah. And then I was like, okay, yeah, I've got time, you know, to to, <laughs> to jump on the bass drum to do a solo, you know. And then I kind of like took my time, and then yeah, you don't really have time for another one. Yeah. Really annoying, but I'm over it now. Maybe like skip the bass drum bit until you know you've got a longer set. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> and if you could have any superpower, which one would you have, and why? Superpower, wow. I'd like to be a superhero. That could be really nice. But like what power? Like um, in terms of, like heroes have like different powers. Or if you're like Batman, you have loads of money. Yeah, yeah he doesn't He doesn't do anything, no. does he? I mean, he, he's a glorified policeman, yeah. technically. Um, I would, um, I would probably like to fly. Why fly? Uh, Cheaper costs to go back to Israel. <laughs> no. Um... I think it can be a relaxing thing to do and look look from above, like look, see everything from above, really. So more kind of gliding than flying. Yeah, the ability maybe, to yeah. glide. <laughs> yeah, it's not kind of like a power, is it? <laughs> not really. You could um, get like one of those suits and just kind of... Or just... um. It, but if you would tell me which superhero I'd like to be, I would say probably Spider-Man. He's really cool. Why Spider-Man? Because it's cool around and... Cause he's, because I'm, I'm, this girl's I'm upside down. No, but I think more because of the justice part. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, you know, getting the justice, um, getting the bad guys. Um, yeah, I've always been like, um, defending my friends in school and kind of like, I was the 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 justice guy. <laughs> <laughs> you are justice man. Yeah. We'll give you like a, a court wig, and you can, <laughs> we'll, we'll make you a barrister. But uh, on that note, massive thank you um, for coming down to the studio. Um, you still have another song to play, so I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to let you uh, play your last song. But again, a massive thank you for coming down into the studio and good luck with your future tour. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me, Alex. No problem. Thanks very much for having me. I'm Sir O. And if you want to check my stuff online, then you can find me on Facebook, which is Sir.O.Music, on YouTube, Sir O Official. Uh, my website is sir-o.com, Twitter, sir or rocks, and that's probably it. I'm going to play the last song uh, for today. This is Three Words. Thank you. Three words I never say last memory will soon be dead But I know, I know, I know It's gonna come soon The three words I've never heard Makes me feel quite lonely, quite sad But I know Gonna come soon. I never said I love you. I want to say I love you. I wanna sing I love you. I never said. It's way and just about to land And I pray, I pray, I pray It's gonna come soon The one soul is up ahead Or oh, down below might be behind my bed And I 
pray, I pray, I pray It's gonna come soon I never said I love you I want to say I love you I want to sing I love you I never said I want to say it when I mean it To shout it when it's true Sing it when I mean it I wanna shout it when it's true I love you I never said I love you I want